Anyways, got a couple, well, yeah, a couple of amps coming in from the wind. The solar's all up and down. I made a video about 45 minutes ago, but I couldn't get any wind damps in it. So I, I couldn't figure out why. I actually was only running two phases on my alternator, or my generator. One of them fell off outside here for me. Messing around out there. These DIY panels here from Solar Cells 101. I can't believe the amps I'm getting out of it today. Four amps from two little panels. So I'm actually putting. Thirteen point seven amps. That's the most I've seen. And that's not even the wind. The wind's on a separate meter. You see we got some wind amps coming in. Very little, but they're there. It's probably only ten mile an hour wind today. Ten to fifteen. Store bought solar's cranking too. Thirteen point five amps in this little system. Pretty good. So you got the, these are the homemade solar panels. This is the micro hydro. These are the store bought panels. There's 10 of those. Nine 15 watt panels and one 80 watt panel. And then the wind turbine amps. Nice if we could get five or six amps out of it for the video. One other thing I wanted to show you guys while I got you on camera here is the way I got my battery bank set up. Right now I got 12.8 volts. I've got a couple switches in here. I got four 12 volt marine batteries. To shut this switch off, shut this switch off, turn this switch on. Now I have a 24 volt. But I won't get any amps coming in because I can't charge a 24 volt bank, battery bank. So we got 24.5. Come back out here, shut this switch off, turn this one back on, this one back on, and we back to 12 volts. There you go, 13.5 I saw there, amps. Alright guys, I just wanted to try to get those wind amps in. We got a couple in, so we did get the trifecta. Thanks for watching.